Hey everybody. Uh, first thing I do is find find a center. So you put the set screw. Don't have to be too exact, but the bigger the set screw, the better. Gives more area to grab onto rather than a small set screw, and it'll just move around. So I'm going with a seven sixteenth by fourteen set screw, which is kind of big. You know, it's perfect for what I have. You can go with any size you want, but for me, 7 16 by 14 is what I have on hand. But, find center, I'm just going to the smallest points on here, which is... Like, 348-ish. So, I'm going to go to 1... 74 right there I'll mark it and I'm going to form the width which is 75, 74 so that'll be 32 or 38 one and two like I said that says will be exact Center punch right there, and then what I'm gonna do is then what we do is I'm gonna come out about. An eighth of an inch or so, maybe three sixteenths ish, and uh, this way it'd be flush with the edge of the 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 way or not wait, the the side where it is. I mean, uh, flush of that. So I'll come out about that much and put marker. Help me see it better. starting point close enough then I'm gonna mark where sin is in here that's where it is lined up at so what we'll do there just like that then I'll take my scribe I have a tungsten insert scribe. Like to see how I made that one? Leave a comment below. What I'm gonna do is just now just go scribe out. And you can see I got my shape. Now for this side it's broken off. I'm just gonna switch around. I'm gonna take away from it. What I'm gonna do is take the measurement from the bottom here. And it comes to the edge. Like so. And bottom edge on here. Right about there. So, what we'll do now is come up. 
kind of straight piece of layer. This gives me a reference point of where to cut. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that off camera. And I'll be right back. All right, now I got all cut out. Now I'm going to shape it. So I'm going to do it off camera because it'll be a lot quicker for you guys and a lot less stuff to watch. So let's, I'm going to do that real quick and I'll be right back. All right, I got it all cut out and shaped. It's close enough. You guys get the idea. So what I'm going to do now is find the holes and I'm going to drill them out and I'm going to use a quarter inch drill bit to drill to the hole. Maybe uh, i got to find out hole diameter I need to drill for that one. I'll let you know. But I'm going to do that to find the holes. I want to do is come in about halfway, mark it, or then put a marker on the back, both sides. And that give me where I need to drill at. And I'm going to drill those holes out real quick and I'll be right back. Alright everybody, off camera I went ahead and drilled the holes out and tapped them. This is a quarter inch hole and it's a 716 by 14 drilled and tapped hole. I used a 3 8 drill bit I believe. So all I'm about to do is put the indicator marks on there. The way I do that is... Take a marker, mark it, clamp, and clamp this on there, like so. Then I grab my scribe and I carefully go one line at a time. Just like that. Then I come back with a file, a needle, needle file, and just file the lines until I get the numbers. Then I, for the numbers, I come back with a punch and just punch the numbers out. I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera, and I'll be right back. Alright, off camera, I went ahead and put the lines, then I stamped it with the number. I mean, it's pretty close, and all that's left to do now is put it on and try it out. So, let's do that. Alright, way to install this is remove the old one. Assuming you still have the plastic one. Hopefully, 
loosen it up. And I recommend, well, I kind of have to, but go to Home Depot or wherever get a longer screw like, than when it came with it. Because for my modification, the screws are too short. We'll get that off. Back this out. Until the two screws are exposed. What you do for these is you, you loosen them and you snug them. Don't tighten them, just loosen them, but snug them. Just like still freely turn it, but it's not super loose. You just want to snug. So the screw holds it in place. Now to install it, same as reinstalling it. And I recommend, well, if you want, make, get these screws bigger and drill these out and tap them out to a bigger screw. I'll be going with a uh, 10 by 24 pretty soon. Because when you do tighten these down, this will flex up. And this is a better piece of mind that it won't break when you go to tighten it down. So I definitely recommend going with a bigger screw. I want to snug these down tight. Don't strip them tight. Okay, now you turn this back. Oh, wrong way. Oh, wrong way. Now let's put on, tighten this back. Tighten this down. To where you want it. Tighten it down more. There you go. That ain't going anywhere. Okay, now let's try it. I do have four jaw chuck set up. So I'll get that centered in real quick. I'll be right back. Maybe. Now uh, dial it in, you find the low spot, set to zero. And if you're going to get a four jaw, I recommend making another key for it. So, find the low spot. Now, high spot would be 60. So, I'll turn it 30. And go to the nearest chuck. 
Dot that in zero. One in a thousand right now. Much better. There you go, a simple modification that helps out a lot, especially too much work. So I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. All right, everybody, off camera, I went ahead and drilled and tapped the holes to a uh, 